Do you have math molecules in your DNA? Let us test it. We have a rectangle whose dimensions are not known, but we have three equal semicircles like these, each with an area of 36 square units. Now, using this side of the rectangle as a diameter, we draw a semicircle like this. Then, using this piece as a diameter, we draw another semicircle like this, and the dimensions of the rectangle are such that both these semicircles are externally touching each other. Our job is to find the sum of the areas of both these blue semicircles. So, can you solve it? This is one of my favorite problems because the final result will blow your mind. Before we begin, let me tell you this one concept that you should know in order to solve this question. Assume we have two circles externally touching each other like this. Now, if we draw a line connecting their centers, then the line will also pass through their point of contact like this. Keep this in mind. Now, let us label the radius of this semicircle as P, the radius of this semicircle as Q, and the radius of this semicircle as R. Thus, the area of this semicircle will be pi P square over 2, and the area of this semicircle will be pi Q square over 2. Therefore, their sum will be pi p square over 2 plus pi q square over 2, or pi over 2 times p square plus q square. Now, the area of this semicircle will be pi r square over 2, but it is also equal to 36 square units. So, we have pi times r squared equals 36 times 2, or 72. Noise. Now, what will be the length of this rectangle? Look here. It will be the diameter of this semicircle, or 2 times q, right? But look at this side. This length will also be equal to the diameter of this semicircle, or 2r, plus the diameter of this semicircle, or 2p. Therefore, we have 2q equals 2r plus 2p, or remove the 2 to get q equals r plus p. Now, take p, this side, to get q minus p equals r. Great! Now here comes the magic. Connect the centers of both these semicircles. You know that it will pass through the point of contact, right? Now this piece is of length p, and this is of length q. Therefore, this entire length will be p plus q. Now draw a vertical line like this. What will be its length? It will be equal to the diameter of this semicircle, or 2 times r. Now this piece is equal to p, so this will also be equal to p, and this is equal to q, so this length will be equal to q minus p, right? And now we will be using our favorite theorem, which is, yes, you guessed it right, it's Pythagoras' theorem. We get p plus q whole square equals 2 r whole square plus q minus p whole square. Let us expand them. Expanding this, we get p squared plus 2 times pq plus q squared equals 4 times r squared plus q squared minus 2 times pq plus p squared. Oh, look, p squared and q squared appear on both sides, so cancel them. Now, take 2 pq on this side to get 4 times pq equals 4r square, so we get r squared equals pq. Now consider this equation. Square both sides to get q minus p. Whole square equals r square. We get q squared minus 2 times pq plus p squared equals r squared. Take 2 pq here to get q squared plus p squared equals r square plus 2 pq but pq equals r squared, right? So we get q squared plus p squared equals r squared plus 2r squared or 3r squared. Therefore, the final answer or the sum of blue areas, which is pi times p squared plus q squared over 2, is equal to pi times 3r squared over 2. But pi times r squared equals 72. So this will be 72 times 3 over 2, or 108 square units. And that's it. This is so crazy. 
and my mind is fully blown because we have not even found the values of P and Q, and still we have managed to find the sum of the blue areas. Now I have a question for you. Can you find out the values of P and Q in decimals? And let me know your answer in the comments. Also, if you like it, please don't forget to share this video with your friends and support this channel by joining our fast-growing mathematical community and becoming a member. So good!